<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I get paid to play. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Trick Startifacts, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Pong. And uh, if you know me, if you're familiar with the, the show at all, you know that I don't really like Trick Stars. Uh, but it was a Patreon request, and th they work, they're not like super meta. And I've done stuff before where uh, I didn't think I would like them, like Ritual Beasts, and then after playing them, I had a little bit more appreciation for them. Uh, the same cannot be said here. Uh, I, I do not like this deck. It's, it's not really enjoyable. It's not a particularly interesting build, either. It mostly exists just because of that sweet pun. Just Trick Startifacts just, just goes together so well. Um... So yeah, if, if you want something weird to do with, with Trick Stars, here you go. Mostly, this is here so you can watch me uh, suffer. Uh, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. I'll go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm inflicting this upon 10 random duelists on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you all the combos, and hopefully... <laughs> All right, here we are in the first duel versus Loser Cat. You want to go first with this deck because Trick Stars generally want to go first and uh, Artifacts generally want to go first. And Trick Stars are all about them searches. Go ahead and terraforming. Grab our light stage. We'll just give them the traditional Trick Star uh, greeting. And then we'll go ahead, activate light stage, let you search any Trick Star monster. Let's go ahead for Lycorish, because we already got Candina. Candina can search any Trickstar card. Normally, if you don't have either of these, you search this, it gets to this. So, we'll get that. But we're going to search our Reincarnation, because it's, it's the best play this deck has. We'll set that, and then you can Special Summon Licorice in Defense Mode. By putting that out, by, by returning a Trickstar from your, your field to your hand. Uh, and then we set everything. We'll set a Mirror Force, and we'll set a Morale Tack. So if they blow up all our face downs, we get a Morale Tack, and if they don't, we have a Mirror Force. It's the best of both worlds. It's it's all about them mind games, early mind games deck. Uh, so standby phase, just activate Reincarnation. Make sure opponent banish their entire hand, and then they draw the same amount of cards. And this inflicts damage to your opponent for every card that they draw. Well, how did they know that? A sad state of affairs. They hit my mirror force, but not my morale tack. That makes me a little sad. I mean, it would make me a little sad, but I kind of feel, feel like I deserve whatever losses I get this turn. I'm not going to just roll over and die. Like, I made this deck, damn it. I'm going to play it to the best of my limited abilities. If I had known it was magic bullets, I would have put this in attack mode. It works a lot better in attack mode. Yeah, it's anytime they add a card to their hand, they take 200 damage. And then if you have the field spell, it's um, it's every time a trick star inflicts 200 damage, your opponent takes 200 damage. So it's just additional damage all the time, forever time. And that's that's what this deck is originally about. Um, let's see, to attack. He's going to negate this, but at least it'll bait out the negation. I can't, I'm not just going to hold on to it. I don't blame you. He'll go ahead, he'll add that. But it's okay, I still have Candina. Yep, he's going to be taking so much damage. I can get a Candina. Normal Salmon. Oh, but he's going to negate my effect. Again, I don't blame you. Gonna be getting that back. More damage. More damage, as I like to say. Um, I could make a... I could make a Link. I could Link up one of these. She's not particularly useful in this. I think I'm good. I'm just gonna attack over his doctor. Hope he doesn't have another Never Endorphin. Ah, Mirror Force, my favorite. Let's just go ahead and Reincarnation. I'm getting Lycoris back. I'm attacking over your thing again. You will not have that, and you will take another 200 damage. 
Sadly, because he targeted the field spell, I think we may have lost this one. But that's fine. In my experience testing this, and I, I've done limited testing with this, I'll let you know. You don't particularly need it with this deck. But a lot of people sort of just uh, give up as soon as you start playing Trick Stars. It's weird like that. It's weird how that works. But yeah, the the original, the, the pitch for Trick Stars was nice. It was basically Toll the deck. Um... Where it's like everything, like this is every time you your opponent adds a card to their hand, they take 200. Candina's every time they activate a spell trap, they take 200. Well, I might as well. Just make a banished card. Ah, I'm gonna negate it. And that's fine either way. But now I have artifacts. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and use that instantly. Just more burn damage, forever. And that way when you're drawing things, you're losing things. You only get one thing. Ah, but he gets the Destroyer. 200. Also no extra deck, not that that really helps or anything. They're not known for their extra deck abilities. I think he played that in the wrong spot, though. Because now he can't get over Lic Lycoris. Gotta destroy this, because it has 2,000 defense. But yeah, the original idea I kind of like, because it's like, oh, everything you do takes a little bit of damage, it adds up, you gotta play strategically. Uh, the thing that I really don't like about it is, uh, well, one, they search all over the place. It's a really small engine. And then just this Trickstar reincarnation where it makes your opponent, like, banish their entire hand. Because that turned this from a game where your opponent has to play around things you do to to a game where uh, you basically remove your opponent's options. Like, they can't work around their opening hand. Just makes them discard. And most of the, the powerful uh, Trickstar decks basically are just reincarnation turbo. Like, how fast can I make you go through all three, burn you through a crap ton of damage? Oh, I should not have played this here. What does this do again? Um, special summon from your deck. Okay, I'll do that in the end phase. Yep, I should have set that over here. I was too busy explaining things, I forgot. We'll go ahead and hit morale attack. Um, and we'll set that. And then he'll get to summon something. Because I done goofed. I'm a goofy goober. Uh, let's put this here. And just be like, as soon as he's summoned, he's like, nah. Ooh, Ghost Ogre. Man, that won't stop you, but it'll keep you. Yep, I should have set that over there. It's okay. I'll set that one over there. That'll do some damage. Yeah, the tricks, the, the, the artifacts, if you're unfamiliar with them, they're, they're a bunch of monsters that you could set in your spell trap zone. If they're destroyed during your opponent's turn, they special summon themselves. And if they're summoned during your opponent's turn, they gain some kind of effect. And we're just playing a small engine of them because the trick stars really need their normal summon to get started. And um, the artifacts don't really normal summon, so it, it works out for them. You can just do the artifact, or you can just do your trick star stuff and then just set a whole bunch of traps. And he didn't summon it over here. I'd be summoning it in the places where I already have things. So I messed up, but he has messed up just as badly. Ah, Ash Blossom. Yep, I actually had a chance to come back. Again, if I if I'd set my things correctly. But yeah, you you get a basic idea of what what these what this these do. The the trick stars are fairly basic. It's just about getting these out. The uh, whoop, I marked that down as a win on accident. Let me erase that before I forget. Okay, yeah, the trick stars are just about getting the reincarnation and being annoying, and then the trick the 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 artifacts summon during your opponent's turn to stun them, and then you mix them in with mirror forces because some of your back row you want destroyed and some you don't, and it it really kind of messes with people. 
And we've got nightmare fuel sleeves. So let's go into the next duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Second duel versus Dark, a very generic name. I hope he's playing a Dark deck of some kind. And I, I mentioned the sleeves last time. I guess I should go ahead and say I have the I have I made these sleeves myself. Custom artwork from Hardleg Joe. Uh, if if you like the sleeves, if you like this art to use for your own YGO Pro, if you like the custom negation I had. If you want to download the deck, uh, if you want the the acapellas, there, there's a whole bunch of stuff on my Patreon. It's an ad-free channel. You can support it by joining the Patreon. One dollar a month really helps out. I know a lot of people don't think their dollar will do anything, but but it really it all adds up. And you get a whole bunch of stuff for it. So so I, so I'd appreciate it. And of course, if you want to donate more than a dollar, uh, there there's rewards at other tiers. Five dollars, you get to pick a card from my unboxing, and I'll ship it to you. $10, you get a uh, button every month with, like, a new meme-worthy design. Joe, go ahead and put a couple button designs up there. Show them, show them what we're working with. Just high-quality, high-quality memes right there, I tell you what. Uh, $25, you get a shout-out, and, uh, and uh, you can request a deck for my streams. I make decks on stream during the Patreon hangout. That you can come, we have that once a month, and you can come to at any dollar amount. So, so that's cool. Um, and I have tournaments on there. And if you donate $50, like Pong did, you can request an episode and I'll play it. Uh, I will not play, uh, Psy Frames. Don't, don't, don't ask me. Doesn't matter how much, anything short of like $1,000, I'm not playing Psy Frames. Uh, Trick Stars, not hate it as much. I keep going back and forth on Trick Stars. I gave, I gave them a, a shot. But yes, if you want me to play some weird stuff, I can certainly do it. Um, fortunately, we've got a pretty good hand for dealing with dinosaurs. Because I've got two Mirror Forces, and Mirror Force has really always been the the bane of dinosaurs' existence. Because they can use stuff to make themselves immune to things at certain times. Let's just go ahead and start with a Candina. That being said, I still have a high chance of losering. Is losering a word? I'm going to pretend it's a word. Go and get our light stage. Go ahead and activate our light stage. No, I'm not going to blow it up. I will search a trick star monster. Let's say Lycorish. Um. Yep, not much I can do. Might as well put this out, because I want my Candina, because it can search every turn if I return it to the hand. At least that way he'll waste something getting it. And then we'll just set many. Um, yeah, that's fine. Set five, pass. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna be flipping that face down. But that's fine. I know he I know he has overtex quatless in his hand, so I'm gonna activate this, not to burn him, but just to get rid of that. Because he already has one banished and one in the graveyard. And now he has less or not quatless. Double evolution pill. Yeah. Either way, I got rid of the things that he wanted. So we're good. Go ahead and use Reasoning. I'm going to say level 4 because it looks like he's still playing a lot of level 4s. Yep. And Trick Town Clown just goes to the graveyard. Um, add a Damage Juggler to hand. Alright. Oh no. Hat Tricker. You can just Special Summon that. And then he thinks... Oh, okay, no. He doesn't have... I mean, if he wants to get rid of that, I think he's just going to use it for extra damage. What will destroy, young lad? Ah, good. That's actually probably the best thing you could have destroyed, because I can just chain it. Artifact Scythe. Like I said, all the artifacts, when they're summoned, they get some kind of effect. Scythe is your opponent cannot summon out of the extra deck. Which is a great effect that has not really been power crept despite whatever new monsters they put in the extra deck. 
just for the rest of the turn. But it's a nice little stun thing that keeps them from doing anything else. And then, of course, I've got the Mira Forces. But he doesn't know that. Hopefully he'll move this into attack mode. He'll attack with all the things. And then I'll be safe forever. An eternity of safety. Yay. Yep. Not much he can do. I don't think there's any way you can negate Mirror Force from the hand unless he's playing like a red reboot. Here are like half his life points. Surprise. I'm just like that rocket guy on the, on the, the, uh, oh, but he could shuffle things back. I always forget Michael has that effect. Four, five, six, all right. Putting all his light swords back in the deck, and then he gains some life points. Which is good in this battle for life point supremacy. And then Fairy Tail Snow. Banish a whole bunch of shit. Does he have a giant Rex? Nope. So at least he's not going to get that on board. Flip my shit face down. I don't like that. Guess what? There's two of them! No. You're going to be burned next turn, at least a little bit, and you're going to like it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Flip summon. Flip summon. Normal summon. Add card from deck to hand. We're going to add Lily Bell. Because when Lily Bell is added from your deck to your hand, you can special summon her. Yo, what's up? And then you just attack with everything. Bada bingo. Oh, you have some kind of hand trap? Ah, heroic challenger. I can get over that, though. And he'll take some less damage. I would have put it in defense mode. Yes, and every time your your uh your your trick stars deal any amount of damage, you just inflict 200 extra damage to them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and return this to hand. Summon licorice. Attack for another 1600, or I'm sorry, 1800 because of that. Um, and then, I don't know, not really do anything. I, I guess I could make like a Boral Load or something, but, or I could make Holly Angel. Eh, I'm good. It's fine. He's going to take a lot of damage. I actually probably should have returned a Lily Bell to my hand. Because this can get stuff out of the graveyard, and this is every time he activates a spell trap. So that would kind of lock him down to, like, if he activates a uh, double evolution pill, he's going to be taking some damage. You're going to have to banish most of your hand in order to accomplish that. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. yeah, everything. Everything to get one card. What you going flip face down? Just the one licorice? And then he surrendered, yep. Things just were not looking out for him. So there's there's a win. That That's how the deck can win. It sure is annoying. Although it's more the, the effect of... Really, it's just keeping these out can continue to do damage, and the artifacts and the mirror forces are just a great way that people don't expect to sort of stall them, to keep these alive until they can do a million points of damage. Let's go ahead into the third duel. Ah, here we are, the third duel versus Slender. Slender Man himself has come to stop the Trick Stars. Oh, that's a pretty good hand for Trick Stars. Anytime you start off with more than one of your Trick Star pieces, you're good. Because everything searches everything. Which means you can get to the things you really need. Um, so we'll use this. 
We'll go ahead and search a licorice. We'll go ahead and use Candina. Candina will search that reincarnation. Then we'll go ahead... This is a quick effect too, this summoning. So the interesting thing is you can actually activate multiple copies off of one monster. So you return the one Candina to hand. And then summon the two Licorice from hand. And then we'll just set and... Set and set. And then as soon as he draws, he'll take 200 for each licorice, plus 200 for each light stage. And then I'll just instantly reincarnation. And then I'll apologize. Um, yep, 1200, and he just surrendered. So a standard trick star win then. Uh, <laughs> Uh feel bad. Uh but anyway, remember how remember how last last time I was like, hey, if you donate $25 or more, you get free, you get a hard leg shout out. Well, now I'm giving one of those hard leg shout outs to Mr. Robert Rusing, who is a great patri patron who did not make me play Trick Stars. So, thanks to him for not making me play Trick Stars. Uh he re he really deserves all the credit he can get for that. Uh, th th thanks him a lot. He, he really helps keep the channel going without making me play Trick Stars. Let's go into the next duel. <laughs> Tattoos. That's an interesting name. I haven't seen that. It's got random capitalization. It's like straight out of the 90s. Oh, hey, we got all these things against a 60-card deck. Let's just do the things that we want to do. Playing the same combos again and again. Uh, yep. Another licorice. We would play that in the middle. For symmetry. For the sake of symmetry. And then we'll just activate both of these. Which again, why I'm not really a fan of Trick Stars, because they search so much, it's really like the same couple combos. Like even the meta versions are just this, but also you play like Droll and Lockbird or... Also, you play, like, chain summoning so that you can get, like, three of these out in one turn, or you can normal summon Candina twice in a turn and then get search two reincarnations. We'll do that. We'll give him the old... Sorry. I feel bad for playing this deck. I didn't want to. Well, on the same hand, like, if... I hate trick stars. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh wait, no, no, I already said. I'm... What's the... I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm recording for YouTube. The people wouldn't accept mercy. But I am sorry. <laughs> I would give you mercy if it were just me, if I weren't recording this. Yeah, not that there's much I can do. I mean, at this point, it's just magic cylinder. If he could summon something with more than 3,000, or if he gets a couple and doesn't destroy this. But yeah, Trick Stars are very much, especially for decks that do, like, add a lot of cards for their hand or do a lot of searching. It can be, I mean, you just saw right there, like, right off the bat, you're starting with, like, minus 4,000. It's not the kind of, like, heavily planned out deck that I thought it would be. Just because of this. And the thing is, like, I, I didn't play Droll and... If you're unfamiliar with Droll and Lockbird, it basically says, like, once you draw cards, you can't draw cards again for the rest of the turn. It's like a hand trap. So the thing is, like, if you activate a reincarn... If you have two reincarnations and Droll and Lockbird, or your opponent searches and then you Droll and Lockbird, you activate reincarnation, they banish their entire hand, and then they can't draw new cards. 
So it basically, like, not only does it burn them and get rid of their hand, but they don't even get a new hand to replace it. I didn't play it because it's just mean. <laughs> it's just like, there, there are certain things that I'm not willing to go through. But at the same time, um, I, I can't not play Reincarnation because it's Monster Reborn effect. You can banish it from the graveyard to get a, a trick star back. It's just so good and so integral to the deck that, that like, you, you, you pretty much have to play it. It, just, it wouldn't be trick stars without it. I'd have, like, almost nothing to search with Candina. Because at least at the moment, there's only two other trick star monsters that exist. There's the Lily Bell you've seen that can attack directly and summon itself repeatedly. And then there's uh, one that might be good in the side deck, where it's like every time your opponent activates an effect in the graveyard, they take 200. Which is pretty nice. Um, again, it's one of those things you would side in against this deck. It would be really nice, again, if you, you had a deck that was less about making your opponent burn, and more about, like, let's put, like, four trick stars out on the field, and then everything they do is going to cost them damage. And then you have ways of maybe, like, I would like to see some traps where it's like, negate that effect, like, negate a spell effect, or your opponent takes, uh, like, 2,000 damage, like, their choice, where they either have to burn themselves more or get rid of things. I think that would be a nice sort of, like, way to make the deck work around a theme. And still have it be, be, be this cool, fun burn deck. Um, either way, I'm losing all of these, but he's, yeah, he's lost already. He just doesn't know it yet. Unless he's got something he can do. Unless he can do something completely unexpected. Because that's the, oh wait, did he attack with this? Wait, what? I thought he was going to attack direct, okay. Well, okay, it's not over yet. Or it might be. I guess I played a little bit right. You made some nice plays. You made some nice plays. You're getting the hang of things. Zombies can be complex. All the graveyard shenanigans. Always encourage people, especially new people getting into the game. I don't want to try to get him. So let's see, light stage. We'll go ahead and add... Uh, yeah, we'll just add another one of these. I could do more Lily Bell loops, but... So it's a beginning. You'd do better if my deck wasn't bullshit. <laughs> You do better if my deck wasn't a burn deck. Burn decks kind of throw a lot of things on their heads. They're kind of like they're they're rare. A lot of people don't have things to deal with burn damage. Let's see, yep, we'll just get this back on here. Yep. Burn decks are kind of bullshit. <laughs> so we'll go ahead here. We'll take the 200. And then I think this might be game or it'll be close enough the magic cylinder will be able to take him out. Or if not, next turn I can just search Lily Bell and attack. But hey, at least he banished his things. He's got some synergy. Oh, and I could summon out a third Lirilusk. So now he can make some things. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much like, unless he doesn't get rid- yeah. No matter what, I, I've pretty much got him. I'd have him already if I didn't forget to Magic Cylinder, but I thought he attacked with Needle Fiber. I wasn't paying attention. But either way, if he attacks with any of these without getting rid of this, we're, we're, he's doomed. 
And then next turn I can normal summon this, summon Lily Bell, attack directly for 800. So, yeah, normally I don't skip away from my things, but I'm actually going to talk to this guy a little bit and just be like, hey, you should check out my channel if you get a chance. And always give new fans that way. I'm sure there's a couple people down there who, who first met me in a duel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll just see you in the next duel, or I'll come back to this if somehow he pulls something around. But I don't, I don't think he's going to. Okie dokie, here we are, fifth duel versus my arch nemesis player. Uh, that, that, that duel did indeed win with me using a, a, a magic cylinder. Here's a short clip if you want to see it. There you go, just for those people who really like to see that, that final duel. Um, that, that final thing. Uh, but that was nice. It, it's surprising that, like, with with my most bullshit, uh, unfun deck, I, I met one of the nicest gents I've ever I've ever dueled against in this show. I met some nice people on like the Christmas episode and stuff, but that's that's the first time I've like beat someone with burn damage, and they've been like, "Nah, bro, it's cool. I like this game." Uh, hopefully, he'll be down in the comments. Uh, say something if you are. What? Oh, I forget your name. It had like T's and Z's. I said it was a cool name. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, I believe this is in once per turn, right? Yep. So we can use this to add our reincarnation. We can activate another light stage to activate to get our licorice. The same old plays that you do again. Set out licorice with the thing and a thing. Uh, we're gonna experiment. We'll put these sanctums over here, and mirror force over here, and see which he goes for. Do the initial 200. Do that. Give him the Trickstar greeting. The official Trickstar greeting is sorry. Oh hey, he's got Spirit Master. Oh neat. You came prepared. Please defeat me. <laughs> Show me the meaning of haste. But yes, we got two artifact sanctums. Uh, this will let you just summon summon something straight out of the deck. That's an interesting tech for Felis. Uh, all right. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really need to summon that back out. It doesn't look like he's going to be doing any searching. Although, I should probably... Um, target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Um, so, I could get out Moralt. Heck no. Yeah, I think I need to go for Scythe, even though he's going to destroy it. Um, yeah, let's go for Scythe. Yo, what's up? And he's just gonna blow that up, but now he can't get into the extra deck. Maybe he'll summon this one in attack mode. Nope. Still going for defense, even though this can't attack directly. But yeah, now he can't make any of his Lynx or any of his Ixies. I'm just going to take that 1850, lure him into a false sense of security. Oh boy. Um, well, I've already got a way to get my licorice. Um, let me think about this. I... The 800... Da, 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 da. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and get another... Another reincarnation. We can reincarnate more things. And this isn't a quick effect, is it? Nope. We'll just... Oh, wait, no, I can't get over... I can't get over any of his things, really. Um... Yeah, so we're good. I'll just attack over that. More things in the graveyard. 
Main phase two. Summon out my licorice. In defense mode. Set this. And your move, holy man. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have used this to get light stage. And then grab some things. I would have been doing more damage. Oh, and I made him banish his Raigeki. So that's cool. But will he immediately make more synchros? Alright. Got your sphere mode. You used it on your own monsters. Um, fires three tributes from either side of the field. I mean, this is a good defense wall, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be. I can't. I'm not gonna attack anyway, so not really helping or anything. Helping or hurting. He put it in attack mode. I don't know if he's gonna go for the winged dragon of Ra. Does he? Does he play it? Um, is it in his banished? Oh, there's Giant Rex. All right. All right, then. Going for the Giant Rex, then, are you? Oh, going for... Oh, okay. There we go. Doing stuff and doing things. It's too late to use the scythe. Fairy tale snow, and then you have to banish something from your hand. Going for like a Dini dynamite thing? Oh no, he's getting rid of. I don't know what he's doing. Is an AI playing this? Also, why is he not targeting? Why is he not flipping my stuff face down? That would stop him from taking more damage. I think not. And that's a big ass not. Granted, he might be able to destroy my things if he mills a. Oh, um, target one card on the field and destroy it? No, I'm good. Yeah, if that's destroyed by a card effect. Well, I guess I don't have the thing, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure I win. Just from damage, damage in general. Because you can get this. Light stage. We'll add Lily Bell. Lily Bell summons itself. You can flip one thing face down. I can still attack directly. Uh, let's get Lily Bell. Why is he not using Snow's effect? Oh, there he goes. It took a second. Oh, and Giant Rex. That's fine, I have ways to deal with that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and make... We're gonna make one of our uh, Link monsters. The Trickstar one, Holly Angel. Use those two. It's got 2,000. So we'll attack directly with this. 800, do 200. When this deals damage, you can get one from your graveyard, add it to your hand. Um, this can special summon itself. And then the, every time a monster is special summoned here to a zone it points to, uh, it inflicts 200. And then every time an, a trick star other than itself deals damage, you can uh, gain that much attack till the end of the turn. And if I didn't put this here, I'd be able to do even more. Um, but as is, we're fine. And then I could go into, what, a decode talker or something? Yeah, we're good. I'll just set this. He's, he's pretty low on resources. He's banished just about everything. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. I was like, does Sphere Mode do something when it's banished and I missed it? I did never never knew about that. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead into... What is it? That'll be the sixth duel. 
All right, here we are in the Six Duel versus Ass Dadsis. That's a, that's a strange name, to be certain. And while we're here at the technical halfway point, I want to give a hard leg birthday shout out to Stonesy87, a, who you may remember for doing his own uh, interesting, interesting deck request. I believe he was the one who had me making the. Uh, oh, pardon me. Who had me making the Ritual Beasts I talked about at the, the start of this episode. Uh, so thanks to him, his birthday was yesterday when this, when this episode came out. He specifically wanted me to get one, to try to get one on his birthday or near his birthday. And he, he has another request coming up next month, so you can look forward to that. He usually requests uh, interesting things. I think he wants me to do DDDs. I'll have to look that up exactly. Oh hey, it's, uh, it's Dark Magicians. I can deal with that. They search all over the place. You'll be taking so much damage. And also, I have a whole bunch of spell trap removal. I have like the three mystical space typhoons and also the, uh, the three artifact ignition, which is kind of like mystical space typhoon, so I can just sort of take out if he gets his, uh, the thing. Oh, hey, and then he searches a dark magician. More damage. And then you go to attack, maybe? And then I'm gonna be like, nah, dog, I ain't going out that way. We both take half the damage. But that's fine, I can take a little bit of damage. I save my licorice. I have it for another day. Drawing more cards. All about drawing them cards. We'll just wait for him to flip up something we don't like. Get that terraforming! Terraform all the- Oh, He had the hand trap. I don't blame you. Rest in peace, Holly Bell. I wonder if he's playing Mirror Forces. Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say, hard to leg. Eternal Soul. Nah. I'm not really into that. Go away. You're not allowed. I ain't gonna take another 1600. Bada bish, bada boosh. On we go. 400 more damage? Granted, I don't have anything to stop him now, so if he searches any more. Which he's not going to. If I can get my field spell, though, then all I have to do is reincarnation this back onto the field, and he's done for. No, but I have Artifact Ignition. Um, I mean, that'll put close. There we go. Set. Your go. 400 more damage. You're almost there! And I've still got the answer to your things. And if I get any of my stuff that searches any of my licorices, all I gotta do is get another licorice on, on field. Or another reincarnation with his one card. We'll draw a card, immediately discard it, draw another card. There we go, light stage. I don't even really need to search a, a trick star, but I'm going to. Uh, end turn. 200, 200. And there you go, another win by Trick Stars. It's like all I gotta do is protect the castle. Just the castle's a girl in a dress. It's, uh, that's just how she's got swords. She's got swords now. She's nightmare fuel for me. That's, that's, that's uh, the, the thing. Uh, next duel. Oh, and happy birthday, Stonesy87. Again. <laughs> Here we are in the seventh duel versus Night Shroud. He comes shrouded in the night. Whoosh, whoosh. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and light stage. Yes, I want to search a Trickstar monster. How many Trickstar players will be down in the comments telling me that I'm not doing the combos right? I'm sure I could do them more effectively. But I'm doing them decently. I'm winning, so I mean, you know. Can't can't be that bad. 
Um, to those of you that are Trick Stars the players, let me just say, I don't, I don't dislike you, I just dislike this archetype. I don't understand it. It's one of those things, I think Pong had me play this because he thought if I played them I would understand why he finds them so fun, because he's an avid Trick Star player. But, um, it, it totally reinforced, like, that, that, that they, they aren't fun. They aren't fun to play as or against. I don't, I don't know what the appeal is. I, I, like, I'd like to believe that people aren't just, like, all about the aesthetic where it's like, it's a cute girl, therefore must play. Why not? Because I think that's a, 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 a dumb reason to play things. I've never been much for aesthetics. But to choose something that is, like, I wouldn't say torturous, but to choose something that is, like, annoying for everyone just because you think it looks pretty. Like, if it was a decent deck and also it looked pretty, then it'd be like, oh, okay, then I understand. But if it's like, nah, I'm gonna put myself, I'm gonna subject myself to this for the sake of looking pretty. Like, eh, I don't get it. That's why on my sleeves I made them as ugly as possible. You, know, you got the, you got the not pretty, uh, trick stars. Oh, hey, it's Cyber End Dragon. What's up, bro? I wonder if you were immune to beer. Oh, he's playing actual Malefics. I didn't even notice that. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, if, if you are a fan of Trick Stars, um, I, I, I don't dislike you. Uh, let me know why why you like Trick Stars. What about them is 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 uh, draws you to the archetype? Because I, I am genuinely curious. Because I, I just can't find like anything to like about them, really. Other than they're kind of cute. But I, 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 that doesn't really factor into my decision for anything. I don't think I do anything just because it's kind of cute. It has to be, like, super adorable. Like, there are no Medolches. What the f- Oh, he actually plays Malefic Truth Dragon. Half your life point, summon this from your hand. Um, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Okay. That's fine. I already activated the reincarnation. I can summon this back. What is this? Um, if a level five special summon one berserk dragon, what the fuck is a berserk dragon? I have never seen this. This is cool. I'm glad I could see such a neat. Neat deck in action. Oh, whoops. Ugh. Neat deck in action. I almost said net deck. That's that's kind of an insult. What is this? Um, it cannot be special summon. This card can attack all monsters. During your end phase, this card loses. Lucky. I hate trick stars. <laughs> I'm getting paid to play them. Otherwise, I'd rather be running Malefics. Although, don't ask me to make... <laughs> I don't think a Malefic deck will work very well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be taking... Usually play Blue Eyes, Altergeist for meta. Yeah, Altergeist are interesting. I, I'm, I'm interested to see how those work out. Let's go ahead and artifacts. Uh, in defense mode, just in case this doesn't work out. I probably could have destroyed Malefic World. That would have gotten rid of them anyway. I like pure artifacts, spirits, and crystrons myself. When I'm not doing things for the show. I've still yet to run into anyone who, like, recognized me after I was like, oh, I play on a show, and they're like, whoa, is this hard leg? I have, when I test normally, I play under hard leg, and I've had people, people who recognize me. Although most of the, 90% of the time, they're like, you're not the real hard leg. <laughs> I'm like, well, I mean, I am, but... I don't really have anything to convince you otherwise. Uh, let's do Lily Bell combos because he doesn't have hardly anything. Lily Bell's like, yo, what's up? 
Um, and I have a bunch of Candinas, so let's just go ahead and make a Holly Angel. Uh, into the battle phase! Yes, I want to attack directly. Uh, let's go ahead and get this back. Let's go ahead and summon this. And let's go ahead and uh, end the game. Yep. Sorry to burn. Sorry. Glad to see cool stuff, though. Keep up the interesting work. Shout outs to this, shout outs to Night Shroud for shrouding the night for us. Um, and I guess while I'm here, yeah, I'll go ahead and give an actual hard leg shout out. Not one of these fake shout outs. To uh, Ryan Smith, who's been with the channel for quite a long time. Formerly jet leg. He hasn't been, he hasn't been in the, uh, the, the hangouts for a while. But, but he is a cool guy. I appreciate his support. He's still, he's still chilling around after all these years. Uh, after all these year, I believe it's been. But either way, thanks to him, people like him keep the channel going. Allow me to, to, to make these, these crazy, uh, well, this isn't that crazy. They allow me to make this crazy artwork. It takes a lot of time to do that, and if, if, I, if I didn't, if I couldn't do this full time, I probably wouldn't be able to make the sleeves as good as they are. Although these are, these are actually not my best work. I didn't do as uh, interesting a job on these. I wasn't as motivated. But I'm sure next week's will be better. Either way, thanks to Ryan Smith. <laughs> well, I've been waiting for a while, but my, my opponent's still loading. I'm not sure when he's going to be here, so we'll just, we'll just call him Loading for now. I, I like that name. Oh, hey, Counter Fairies. Fun fact, my, my initial, when they told me to make Trick Stars, uh, my initial idea was Trick Star Counter Fairies, because I'm like, they're all light fairies. Plus, there's a whole bunch of counter traps that are like, negate something and your opponent draws a card. So I was like, it, it makes sense, it has all this synergy. Um, but it, didn't, it ended up not working out very well. But maybe, I don't know, if you want to try something that, that'll really uh, annoy people. Like, the worst kind of annoying. Um... Can you negate this? Hey, what's up? Um... Let's get another one. More things. Let's try that again. Oh, did it freeze? Nope, okay, good. Search a trick star. We'll get... Uh... Yeah, Candina. And then hope this isn't honest. Because I don't believe I can activate Candina in the, the damage step or anything. Nope. Just taking damage. And while we're at it, let's take some more damage, shall we? Yeah, Counter Fairies, they, they really seem like they had a lot of potential with that new structure deck, but they have not done anything, and that's it's the same problem that Counter Fairies always have, which is you have to go first, and you pretty much everything's like a one-for-one -one trade. If you don't open up with something that lets you search or improve because of your, uh, your things, you're gonna have a bad time. Oh hey, Power Valkyrie. Add one Light Fairy from your deck to your hand. Yo, what's up? Sanctum Police. Um, is it up to two? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Um, we'll summon Bagel Tech. In defense mode. Well, that didn't work very well. Oh. Uh, when your opponent... Okay. I draw a card, though. Let's go ahead and try that again. Yeah, I probably should have artifact first. 
In fact, I know I should have artifact. I should have ignitioned first on his thing, and then done that, and then Bagel Tech would have came because I would have set another, and then I would have gotten two Moral Tax. Two Moral Tax in one turn. Taking more damage. And don't worry, people were asking uh, on the, the, the Patreon Discord, like, since I put artifacts here, generally, I don't like to play the same archetype twice in a year. So, like, since this has artifacts, will you not be playing pure artifacts? No, I will. I'm not gonna let this hold me back. This is just a really basic artifact engine. It's, it runs very differently from pure artifacts. We'll get another one of those. And I believe that's game. I'm not sure, I forget if I apologize to this guy or not, but, uh... You know, he's playing Counter Fairies. It's okay. That is very much the deck that's like, no, you're not allowed to do things. The movie, the game. The motion picture experience. There was a time when they would be treated almost as badly as Trick Stars. If Trick Stars get reincarnation, limited, or, 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 uh, or forbidden, and then they become more of like a Link deck that is more about control and stuff, then I could see being more positive about them. It's just right now all they are is, is burn. But I've, I've complained a not enough. You'll have to let me know, uh, just, just in general. Because, uh, if you enjoy seeing me play these decks that I obviously don't like, I'm not sure if it's endearing to see me, uh, to, to, to see me in anguish, or if it's just like, you don't like listening to me bitching this whole time. Uh, but let me know, because then that'll, that'll inform me in the future. If someone, like, wants me to play something and I don't like it, should I just tough through it because it's funny to see me do so? Or should I just stick with the things that I enjoy? Uh, either way, we'll go into the 8th duel. Okay, 8th duel versus player. I forget if we already played against player this time, but we're doing it again if so. I don't know, I had one that I got rid of because it, like, no one even played a card it got here and then it crashed. Which is the only time really I've skipped... I've only, like, cut a duel from... Oh, hey, Crystrons! I love Crystrons. Neat. There we go. Sorry for playing bullshit against them. I'm sure he'll find out shortly. I don't want to give it away. Um, and now I completely forgot what I was talking about. Half my opponent's Darny Igno exist. Did I say they were my favorite? I forget. They are one of my favorites. I hope to play them again soon once we get Needle Fiber in the TCG. Sadly, it's going to be... Oh, he's going for that first turn, Trish! Q. The John Cena music. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, some spells would be nice. Crystrons don't really have. They don't have much support. They've got uh, impact and they've got that the other one. It's weird because that's the one that I know. Yep, I'm playing this. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Ho 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 Um Yeah, more cards on the graveyard will make it more difficult for him to want to do stuff. Unless he can negate. I will not negate. I'm not afraid to be the one who's got a bun who must negate. Normal salmon. Ooh, ow. Mm. My life points. Um, 
Oh, actually, what I can do. Let me get Lily Bell. Lily Bell to the rescue. Coming in and doing some things. I still have monsters. Do 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 do. Cue the John Cena music. We'll do both of them. And then he'll want to summon my things. Wakacha! And also, Wukachi! And then what card from my field shall you be taking? That actually helps. How so? And then he can summon a Smiger. Smiger Zero. Oh yeah, I forgot about this thing. Send one monster from your deck with a level lower, and then that becomes the thing, and then he can... What, well, are you gonna make Black Rose? Ah! Touche. Although now neither of us have anything. Granted, he can banish stuff from the graveyard to get more things. Yep. Christron's able to black rose the field and still recover. Granted, he's down to 3,000, so depending on what I draw, if I get a good mirror force and he doesn't have the resources to summon a whole bunch of stuff, or if, um, whatchamacallit, well, he might be able to OTK me here if he plays his cards right. You get that, and then... Nope, just Rion. I thought he would get one in attack mode and then use its effect. Just making Needle Fiber again. I must learn these plays. Citri! Citri is best girl. 10 out of 10. No other girls in Yu-Gi-Oh can compare. Why do you not attack? No attack? All right. Um There you go. I mean, you can do stuff. Mit, I might buy, play these guys a morbid amount. It's cool. I like to see the plays. It's interesting. Much more so than my deck. Yeah. Do you use the Reddit? Uh, occasionally. Not much, though. I did an AMA there once. That was a thing. Are you gonna make the thing just uh what's her what's her name? Rosenix just to banish all my spell traps? I've known as the Christron Obsessor there. You hang out on YouTube much? Did you see the Yugi Tuber Grand Champion ship last year, where Hardleg played Christrons against Kamina Cat. Oh, sadness. Good match. Heard of that.
Say what? Yep. A much easier time for Chris time. A much easier time for Christrons. They could do their plays much easier. They didn't need to rely and on like three needle fiber. Master Rule 4 is better. I don't believe you. The extra deck space for Christrons was already tight without having to run needle fiber. Because then you add in more stuff. Like, they, 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 they had the potential to summon more things, and now it's like three less stuff. And then it's like, well, Needle Fiber has its own options. You play White Aura Whale. Set. A good option. It's like... It's like a mirror force on on fins. That's a good way to describe it, right? Also, you have to let me know in the future if you like me to type to people if you would prefer I didn't. I don't know which is more interesting. Then going into formula synchron. Running out of things. Draw a card, and then you can make... Oh, destroy it all. Um, Let's see. If this card battles an opponent's monster, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Honestly wrote about 4,000 words on the deck. Well, you think that makes you special? I played it for a week. Two weeks. Two weeks, even. Uh, but yep, I think that's over. But you know what? If I had to lose to anyone, I'm glad it was him. So, there's another loss, but an interesting loss. We'll go into the ninth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Ninth duel versus God Usopp. I believe that's a One Piece reference, though I could be wrong. I took a little break in between things. Got a couple Cheetos paws, which are still delicious. I enjoy them at least. You have to comment in the comments if you've had a Cheeto paw and if you enjoyed it. Um. Yep, let's go for this. If we can protect it with our Blazing Mirror Force, then next turn we can add a, uh, Reincarnation. As it stands, we don't have the Reincarnations. Let's just set almost everything. Haha, -ha, you took 400 damage. The victor, to the victor go to the spoils. The spoils are me. I am spoils. Uh, starting by setting things. Ah, Tim Lords. The Lords of Tim. Running all around with their heads full of eyeballs. Up, oh, you're taking damage. Shouldn't be adding cards from your deck to your hand. Doing things like that. While we're here facing Time Lords, let me go ahead and give one final hard leg shout out to someone who's probably uh, enjoying this episode more than others. A good old patron who goes by the name Lilybell. 
uh, presumably named after the uh, the the uh, the trick star named Lily Bell. Um. Yep, that doesn't really help me to summon out any of my guys, so we're good. Yay. I uh, play the one bagel tech. But yes, thanks to Lily Bell. She's been a nice supporter for the past couple couple uh, months now. Just a very friendly person in general on the Discord. Uh, I believe she got her boyfriend on the, 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 the Discord, or on the, the Patreon as well. Yeah, because she gave the uh, the Valentine's Day shout-out last time. But this time there are no Valentine's Day, so she's just... It's just shout-out to her for being awesome. Shout-outs to sidewalks for keeping people off the streets. Uh, there you go. But yeah, we play the one bagel tech. It's uh, If it's summoned, it can destroy stuff during your, your opponent's turn. Or if it's summoned, you can destroy two of your face-downs. It's just a good thing for... Um, Let's go ahead and reincarnation right now. Ooh, creature swap. Swapping my creatures there, are ya? I won't be taken too kindly to that. Yep, I'm not gonna be attacking your things. Why would I attack your things? Yeah, this is just good if you happen to get all your, your guys, all your uh, artifacts, you can like, sanctum this out, and then it'll destroy your two artifacts. And then you can do some things. And I'm just gonna be like, how about no? Stop that. You're not allowed to scapegoat things. Not on my watch. Now you've just got a spider. Granted, he's got all these traps. I've got to assume some of them are like mirror forces and stuff like that. Hard to say, hard to let. Ooh. Interrupted kaiju slumber. Just getting rid of everything. Granted, he's gonna get blazing mirror forced, and then I'll have a 2200 on board. He's not gonna like that. Surprise! Now you take much damage. Take a 20. And a 16, and then when you draw, you take another 400, plus whatever I happen to draw. Now then, all I got is access to my morale tax now, because bagel tech happened to get in my hand. Darn bagels. 2200. You got a mirror force? Malevolent catastrophe. Uh, okay. What else did you have? Torrential tribute? Um, yep, 18. That'll put really close. There you go. Your move, holy man. What can be to who does see? If you activate a spell, you're just done for. Can't activate any spells. Does that count? Each time your opponent act oh no, they have to activate the card, they can't just uh do that. Alright. And you summon your pretty butterfly. Kaka, it's a butterfly. Don't tell me butterflies don't say kaka. To me they will always say kaka. Yo, what's up? I'm a giant sword. It's blunt as fuck, but it's super heavy too. Now what? Oh, that's what. Okay. I can't get around that, really. Um, unless I can... No, not really. Send it back, maybe? Nope. Oh, this has to attack. I can't switch it to defense mode. Yep, I have to attack with this because it was summoned with interrupted kaiju slumber. Well, all my stuff goes back. So there's that. Uh, spell trap set. Spell trap set. Uh, your move, holy man. 
Just activate a spell and get it over with. It's a pity I didn't go for licorice, because uh, that would have been much better. If I had done licorice, I was like, ah, oh, I got him right where I want him. But, uh, because I thought that at 100, he, he would for sure. But if I had gone for uh, licorice it, instead, I would have been able to stand that other turn. And then I would have done enough damage. I just shuffle my, okay. Don't care. Um... Yep, the only way to get rid of this is to do this. Because otherwise I'm going to be forced to attack over and over again, and I don't really want that. But this thing is not strong enough. Uh, fuck. So my options are shuffle one card into the deck and inflict 500 damage. Or attack into that and lose it and take more damage. Yeah, I think I think this is actually the best choice I have, sadly. Because otherwise he's just going to get rid of my things and I don't want him to do that. At least this way I could survive an attack. Darn, I always forget about interrupted kaiju slumber. It's just one of those things. Could this be the 100 life point comeback of the century? No. Could have gone for the burn damage. I think that would have done it. And I'm going to take 2,000 from that if he had summoned the fire guy. He can't summon it when he's got one here anyway. I think he can banish. Banish to summon. One time lord from your deck. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's got it if he summons the fire one. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. No, he's going for that because he's afraid of the, the back row. Let's just go ahead and do that. Get a bagel tech. Bagels. So then this has nothing to summon back out. Ouch, my most of me. Pardon me. Man, if he'd summon the earth one or the fire one, I'd just be dead right now. Um... Instead, I possibly tie? No, we'd both... I would take the damage first. Flick the damage equal to the damage you took. So yeah, we either tie or it's it's game. Hard to say, hard to leg. I guess we're about to find out. Unless he just doesn't attack at all. Although even if he attacks, I'm pretty sure I can still just activate this. Yep. Haha. -ha! Yep, I just lose. <laughs> and then it inflicts it. Okay. Touche. Sure to summon licorice. Don't care though. This this the record of this this could have lost all ten duels. I'd still be fine with it. Let's go into that tenth duel, by the way. And thanks again to Lily Bell. <laughs> All right, the tenth and final duel versus Nightlife. He's the life of the night. Oh, hey, a terrible hand. We haven't had one of these in a while. I mean, it's not completely, like, nothing we can do, but, uh... Ooh-wee. There's very little, unless he twin twisters to get us started after he summons something, I don't think we're going to be doing much. Or he could just not do anything and then get twin twisted. Only time will tell. Oh hey, it's Mech Knights. And I gave him a whole bunch of spell traps. Um, negate any trap card that activates in the same column as a Mech Knight you control. Yep, 
Yeah, so he probably doesn't want to destroy these things. Going in defense mode, alright. Not sure why. The real question is, is this uh, uh, invoked mech knights? Because I don't think I can get over a, a whatchamacallit, a uh, Macaba. I don't have anything to out unless I get like two mirror forces and I don't. And he'll destroy and banish my things. I don't want to be banished. Let's see. Trap card that activates in the same column as a mech knight. Okay. So unless he gets a mech knight here, then I can still mirror force. Damn. Doesn't that just toodle my noodle? Unless he moves... No, I think I, I think I just lose right there because I can't activate my traps. A sad state of affairs to be certain. Yep. I guess I'll see you on the end screen then, because he's just going to attack with everything and I don't have enough. I don't have enough things. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Trick artifacts. It looks like we went six and four. Uh, I, had, I had no expectations going in for, into this, so I can't say if that's good or bad for a Trickstar deck. Uh, again, though, I didn't really try to make a, a great Trickstar deck. I just tried to make a cool pun. And in that sense, I succeeded. I made it through the episode. Uh, if you wanted to see what Trickstars do, now you know. If you wanted a unique build, now you have one. And hopefully you enjoyed this time of, of me uh, talking about things I didn't like and some things that I did like. And we met some cool, nice people, too. So it wasn't a complete waste or anything. Uh, anyway, next week, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm doing some, uh, some mind games. Uh, hard to say. I'm not sure if that deck's ready for the world yet, but I, I might be doing some mind games. Or maybe me suggesting that I am is in itself a mind game. Hard to say. Hard to leg. Either way, I'll, I'll see you next week with something. So until then, good luck. Have fun.